Okay, so lately a ton of people have been loving my Google Sites tutorial videos and I've been getting a lot of comments wondering if you can set up a store inside of Google Sites. And at first I didn't think this was possible at all because there's no direct option to do this inside of Google Sites, but there's actually some really great external ways that you can actually add into Google Sites to make it a store. So this is really cool. So in my previous videos, this was obviously a bit of an oversight. I just thought that I was setting up a website as a portfolio, but obviously a lot of people want to sell things on their website. So making a store is a really important thing that I needed to cover. So that's what I'm going to be covering in today's video and I hope it's helpful. Just to give you more options, I'm going to be going over two different ways to add a store to your Google site. The first is easiest, but they're both free and the second looks a bit more professional. So let's jump into the first method. So first things first, we of course need to go to Google Sites, and if you've seen my previous tutorials, the website might look familiar, it's the same one. So what we need to do now is add a store. As you can see, there's no page here on the side for store. So what I'm gonna do is go over to the right here under pages, click the little plus at the bottom, and just name a new page as store and click done. So I'm gonna add it in, I don't really care what it is, I think I'm just gonna drop it under YouTube here, but now we have this page which is a store. And I'm just gonna change the font a little bit, change the header type just to match my style. Okay, so now this page matches my other pages just in style. And what I'm gonna do now is the most basic option to add a store to your site. And basically you can just go to insert, click on button. And what you can do is just name your button, whatever it might be. I'm just gonna do an example for photography stuff. So buy my presets, something like that. Something for like photography presets on Lightroom. Now this method isn't gonna directly add a store to your Google Sites, like they can't actually purchase the item inside of your website, but what it's gonna do is allow you to link another site where you can sell your item so they can click on the button. It takes you to another store where they can purchase your item. So just for this example, I'm gonna use a website called Selfie. I don't actually have any products on here, but I'm just gonna copy this one person's products. As you can see, it just has this nice site where it says what the product is. It usually has an image, it's not loading right now, but then it has the price and you can purchase the item. So I'm just gonna copy the link right here, go back to my website and paste that link. And now once I click insert, I have this button that says buy my presets. And when you publish your website, when you click on that button, it's gonna take them directly to that site where they can actually purchase your item, whether it be Selfie or some other site where you can sell your products online. There's a ton of different ones, but that's by far the easiest option and the button looks pretty nice, it's simple and it's easy to click. Now of course with this button on your website you can also add a photo above it if you want to give an example of what your product is. You can give a description under it so when they click on it, it can have the price in it so they know what they're getting into when it takes them to the external site. You can also add an image to your site just with this button over here on the right and when it loads, what you can do is basically click on the image, click the little link thing here and add another link like I did before. So just to this website here, click apply. And so if they click on the photo, that will also take them to the site where they can buy your product. Super simple as you can see. So if I just publish that site real quick and go to my finished site, you can see now under my sidebar, you can see store. If I click on store, you can see this button here. If you hover over it, it kind of adds this little shadow thing. And if you click on it, it takes you to that website, redirects you where you can actually buy this product. So again, you can have a photo right here. If you click on the photo as well, it can also redirect you. So that's the most basic option. As you can see, it's super simple, super fast to do, but it doesn't directly have a website where you can have a cart inside of your Google site. You have to go somewhere external. But next I'm gonna be showing you another way to do this where you have an actual store with a cart inside of your Google sites where they can do everything internally. So let's jump into that. So to do this next part, you're gonna to need to go to a website called Equid. I'm not exactly sure it's pronounced, E-C-W-I-D. Basically, if you just click on your website, you can see that they're a company that allows you to start selling on Facebook, as you can see here, or Amazon, basically anywhere you wanna sell, but it also works for Google Sites or any other website like Wix and things like that. So what you're gonna do is go up to the top right here and click get started for free. Like I said, it is a free website, but it does have some premium features if you wanna pay for it, but you can pretty much do all of the major features for free, which is really cool. So once you finish the little setup thing, it will take you to your dashboard where you can see an overview of all your things. If you have purchases where people have made orders, you can see the orders, you can also see different reports on analytics and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. But this website is actually really easy to control. Over here on the left, like Google Sites, you can see you have all your control panels where you can manage sales, you can manage sales channels, configuration, design, all those sorts of things. So I'm just gonna run you through a quick setup for this and how you can integrate it then into Google Sites. So first things first, you need to add some products to your store. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go under catalog right here and then click on products. And it's just gonna take you to this blank page where you're able to add new products. So I'm just gonna click add new product. 
It's gonna give you a bunch of different options here to customize that product, and I'm just gonna run you through a quick setup for one. So because I do photo video stuff for this example, I'm gonna be showing you how to upload, say, a photo print to this site as a product. So first, under general, I'm gonna click upload images. I'm just gonna click one on my desktop here. It's LCAP at sunset. It's a really cool photo. So I'm gonna click upload there. I'm gonna name it LCAP at sunset. I'm just gonna enter a random weight here, like one pound. It's not super specific, but it doesn't really matter. And then click require shipping or pickup because you kind of need to deliver the product somehow. And then you can just add a description here if you want. I'm just gonna say like super high quality laser print, something like that just gives a little overview of your product. Now I'm gonna go over to the right here and under pricing, just set a price, let's just say like $15 or something. You can see that there's these other options that have these stars next to them, but they are the premium options. So you have to pay for the paid account for Equid or whatever it is to actually access these options. But most of the things, like I said, are free. As you can see here, product availability, you can either turn it on or off, but stock control, it does cost money to add a certain amount of stock to make sure you don't sell out of the item, but you can change the product availability. So now under this product, I'm gonna go over to options, which is a super cool place where you can add different variations to your product. So if you're selling shirts, you can sell different sizes. If you're selling shoes, different sizes all sorts of different variations you can add that change the price. So I'm gonna click add a new option and for this I'm just gonna say print size so we can just have a different print size and then for input type I'm gonna do sizes and as you can see there's different options here. So now I'm gonna click add new value. I'm just gonna say like print sizes eight by 12. These are super random print sizes, not realistic at all to the actual size of the print but just for an example here. This is super cool under price modifier. I'm just gonna leave it at zero dollars. This just means it's gonna be $15 to purchase this size. Now I'm going to click add new value. I'm just gonna say like 18 by 24. Let's say that this has a price modifier of $10. So now this costs $25. Let's just do 24 by 36. Let's say it has a price modifier of $20. So now we have three different size options. The two different sizes have additional prices added to them that modify your price. So it's a super cool way to add different sizes when you're actually selling a product that might have different sizes. Now, if we go over to tax and shipping, you can see that there's an option to enable requiring shipping or pickup, which I have right now because you need to ship your product. You can also enter the dimensions and weight, shipping rates, and then set up taxes. So Super cool, I'm not gonna go through that right now, but there's a lot of different options in here that you can really get into and customize your product. Now if we go over here to related products, this is super cool if you've created other products, you can assign products that are related to it, so when people click on it, they might find other things that they're interested in in your store to encourage people to buy more things or find new things that they might not have seen before. So that's a cool feature, and then there's another button over here for buy now. Basically, you can embed this one product anywhere on your site. Instead of having your whole store, it's just this one specific item. It's so like it says, promote products on your blog, sidebar of your site, or any other place, literally. So super cool feature just to add a little buy now button anywhere on your site. So once you've set up your product how you like it, you can simply just click save and it will save it to the site. And then you can just go in and add as many more products as you want. I'm just gonna quickly add a few more products to the site just so you can see an example. But since you already know the example, I'm not gonna show you exactly through the process. Okay, so I've added some more products to my store and as you can see here, they're right here for products and then if I go under here to categories, basically what this is is you can create different categories where your products are listed under. So for free, you can only create two different categories, but right here you have the store front page. This is the default one, but then you can create two in addition to that. So basically here I have photo prints here and you can see I have an image, cover image for it and a description. Basically what you can do is enable it or disable it and then you can add category products. So I can assign products to this category. So if I click on this, I can just click to add all these products because they all apply to this category. And now these products are assigned under the category of photo print. So we can just save that real quick and then this just makes it easier to add it to your site and kind of organize things. So now let's get into how you can actually change the look and appearance of your store. So if we go down here, under configuration, you can see that there's a design option. So if we just click on design, we'll come up with all these different options for changing the look of your store. So first of all, image size, I'm just gonna keep it large just so you can see the products the best that you can. You can also change it if you have a lot of products to like small. Image ratio, I'm just gonna keep it same at landscape 3.2. Product card and details layout, I like to have it centered. I think it looks the best here. Product card frame, you can choose to have a little frame around your photos here. I just like to keep it off, I think it looks cleaner. Product name, like to show it. Product price, like to show it. Don't show SKU. Additional product image, show over mouse hover. I don't have any additional images, but you can kind of see an example if you hover over it here. Basically, you can see additional images if you hover over it and 
I pretty much like the default settings here. And then if you have different categories, this is what it would look like. So you can see apparel here, you can get a little preview of each of these if you have four different categories. Again, you only get two categories for free, but if you pay for it, you can get more categories. For product layout, when you actually click on an item, this is what it's gonna look like. You can see you can get a preview here, you can click through the images, see what it's like to change the options and stuff like that. But I like how it looks here. I think two columns, products description is on the right. Again, obviously all these settings are up to you, but I honestly really like how the default set up, so I don't really find myself needing to change much here. So now once the look of your store is set up, now you need to set up payment. So under configuration, if you just click on payment, it's actually super simple. They've made it really easy to do. So basically what you're gonna see here is a lot of different methods you can have to actually set up payment for your store. For me, the easiest method is just PayPal. So if I just click enable PayPal, it basically just creates that as an option for people to pay by. I think it's the most secure and also the most simple than most people have it but there's tons of different options. As you can see here, you can use Square, you can use manual payment methods like cash on delivery, bank transfers, things like that. And you can also create things like Visa, MasterCard, all sorts of different ways to pay. So it's amazing how they set this up and it's actually really easy to control, whereas on some sites, payment is just an entire pain. So it's really nice how simple this is. Once your payment is set up, you need to go adjust your shipping settings. So under configuration, let's click on shipping and pickup. You can see right here I've set a few, but basically I have free shipping for FedEx and the USPS. But just like payment, it's ridiculously easy to set up. So if you wanna click on shipping, just click add shipping. You can have all these different options. Let's say we wanna use FedEx. So let's click set up FedEx. You can now change the different rates. So you can have free shipping if you want the customer to pay nothing and you to pay the shipping. You can also set up automatic calculated fees, conditional free shipping, flat rate, custom rates. All these are super easy. So let's just try automatic calculated rates. Click set up FedEx. So now you just enter your address in here. Now this is where the products are gonna ship from. So it estimates the price from that location. And then you can adjust different settings here like whether your shipping region is the world, the types of shipping that you want to pay for, so all of these sorts of things, which is just super cool that you have so much flexibility really easily inside of Equid's website. So now you're basically ready to go. Now I'm gonna show you how to get this store into your Google site super easily, again, for completely free. So the first thing you need to do inside of Equid's website is go under sales channels and click overview. Now we're gonna have these options to sell everywhere, like it says right here. So Unfortunately, Google Sites is not one of the options of the sites in here, but it's super easy to adapt it. Basically, all you need to do is click on custom website because Google Sites, I guess, is essentially a custom website and you're just gonna click learn more. Now, all you need to do is click this little blue button right here to get the Equid integration code. So just click that. It's gonna copy this embed code right here. And now we just need to go to Google Sites to paste it in and you'll see how instantly it works. So now we're inside of my Google Sites website under the store page and basically all I'm gonna do is go over to the right here under insert, click embed. I'm gonna click embed code and I'm just gonna paste that code that I just copied from the other website. And as you can see, it pastes big code right here but it's not super important. Just click next and it's gonna show you a little bit of an example of your code. You're just gonna click insert and that code is gonna pop up and create an embedded store directly inside of Google Sites. So as you can see, the sizing is a bit off right now, but basically just adjust the side panels to make it fit how you want it. It does take a little bit of adjustment, but once you get it in there, it fits really nicely and looks really good. Okay, so as you can see, the store from Equid has been put into Google Sites, but you can't really control much about it right now because it's still as an embed code. You actually have to publish the website to be able to control and preview how the site actually would work, how the store would work, but you can get a pretty good example by this on the look of it and it looks really clean. But now I'm gonna publish my site really quickly, give you an example and walkthrough of actually how to use your store and how professional it looks. Okay, so if we load up my website and we go click on store over on the left here, you can see that instantly it loads up this store that looks super professional and like it wasn't built with Google Sites, which is super cool. If you hover over the photos, you can see it zooms in a little bit, which is a really professional touch. It looks really nice here. It kind of highlights the text as well right there. You can see the prices the name of the items, as you can see right here, featured products is our first category up at the top. And then if you scroll down, you can see that other category I made, which is photo prints, which gives an example here. So if you don't want the featured products, you can get rid of that and then you can just show the photo prints. But if you click on a product, let's say El Cap at Sunset, as you can see, it just loads the full image, looks super great. You get the title, you get the description, and then you get the print sizes. So as you can see, if I click eight by 12, the price is the same. If I click 18 by 24, it raises the price. 
24 by 36 raises the price again. Super cool, and it has these little flashy things that look really professional on it. If you find a size that you want, you can say add to bag. So now just check marks, add to bag. You can add more or go to checkout. And it's pretty cool. If you click go to checkout, it brings you to this page. It looks like a professional shopping cart. You can see what you're ordering. You can enter your checkout information and you can just pay for it in any of these methods. So unfortunately, because I set up this account with my PayPal account and I haven't set up the Visa or MasterCard options yet, I can't actually show you an example on how the payment works, but I have used a cash method before where you just promise you'll pay later and it worked really well. It sends it directly to your Equit account. You can see and manage the order. You get an email on the order confirmation and it works just like shopping at any other store. So it seems really seamless. Now as cool as this store is, there is one problem that isn't really great. Basically because this is an embedded code inside your website, you can't go back in pages, it loses all of your history, or if you click on another page on the website, it loses what's in your cart and your orders because it's not contained really to the site, it's a separate site that's controlling things. But basically as you can see here, I have something in my shopping bag here. But if I click back to my home page, for example, and then I go back to the store, as you can see, it brings you back to the front page of the store. And if you go down to the bottom and click shopping bag, there's nothing in your shopping bag. So this is obviously a bit problematic because if someone's exploring your site, add something to their cart, go check out other things, they lose that item. So it's not the end of the world. If they stay within that page, it works really well. But if you leave anywhere, you just have to be aware of that. And also you do have to note, let's just say you're in your shopping cart and you want to go back. If you click back, it's going to take you to back to the home page, not back to another page in the store. So if you're in the store and you go to your shopping bag and you want to go back, basically instead of clicking the back button, you have to click this little breadcrumb here. So just click store right there and it will take you right back. So that works pretty well, but it's not ideal, like I said. But again, let's just get some more examples of these products. Let's click on winter camping under the stars. As you can see here, get a preview of it, get a description here, get our size, add to bag. If we wanna go back, we can just click back to catalog right here. Let's just click on into the haze. As you can see here, gets a photo preview, different sizes, different price options. This one's real expensive here. <laughs> 100 by 300 inch print, um, add to bag. We go to our shopping bag here. You can see our different products that we've chosen. You can change the quantity amounts of these, and then you can just enter your information, card numbers, and like I said here, shipping is free. So you just check out, sends it to your account, super easy to manage everything, and it's pretty awesome. So like I said, it's not super ideal, but I would have to say for a free option integrated into a free website, this store looks pretty professional and it's very usable and you can sell pretty much any products and I think it's a really cool addition. But anyway, that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful and I hope it answered some of your questions about setting up stores in Google Sites. But if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe down below and I will see you all next time.